streak is, there's different elements to the streak, but the fact you guys have been down 55 to 9 in the first quarter, how has that influenced how teams attack this defense and kind of change their game plan towards you guys? You guys I, I don't even know. I just know, you know, uh, realize that, you know, now, true. I mean, we just, uh, I mean, we just been through a tough patch. You know, we got a, uh, another team that's, uh, you know, be going through the, the same, uh, you know, tough time as uh, we've been going through. And um, so it, it should be a good game this weekend. So, you know, looking forward to it. Um, you know, we've been positive here at Dove Valley for, you know, the last three, four weeks. And we've been practicing well. So hopefully, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll turn for us this weekend. How much could a good start and one good game get the ball rolling to get this thing turned around? Yeah, I think that's all you really need. We just need one win. Then we got to go and get the next win and the next win. But the first step is just getting the win. Vaughn, you mentioned the energy here at Dove Valley over the last couple of weeks. It was evident to those of us who were in the locker room today. It seems like that comes naturally. Has that been tough at all for you guys? To what? Keep that, to keep that kind of positive vibe up? Yeah, I mean, I mean, no, I mean, yeah, I, what was the question again? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll I mean, that to you for some reason. yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we're good. I mean, yeah, we're good. Um, you know, we just need to win, and um, you know, we all feel it. We're all pros. You know, we, you know, we're all in, you know, the boat together. So, um, you know, hopefully, it'll it, it change for us. You know, we got a good team coming in. You know, um, we haven't put together a complete game yet, and uh, hopefully, you know, this should be the week for us. I don't know. If I did, I, you know, if I did, we, we'd be undefeated, you know, right now. But, you know, it's the National Football League. It's, it's a tough league, and, you know, we just got to go out there and get one. Is there a fight line? Uh, Claiborne got the six sacks. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was thinking of you when we said it's possible to get 30 in a season. Yeah, you just need three or four more of those games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I didn't do the multiplication or anything. And that kind of shows that it's possible, I guess. When you have yeah, it's possible. Like it's, it, it's possible. You just got to get, you know, a couple of those games in a row. And, um, you know, it can happen to you. When you step right there on the football field, it, you know, it doesn't really matter about records or, you know, best O-line, best D-line, or none of that stuff. You got an opportunity to go out there and play. And that's all you really need in the NFL. Is there a fine line between making plays and not getting selfish and getting out of your, getting out of doing your job? I know guys want to make plays, great turnovers, but... Is there that fine line you still have to stay within the framework of the defense? I mean, luckily for me, that is my job. So I just, you know, go out there and try to make it happen. You know, just go out there and try to make plays and, you know, be selfish for my for my teammates and my guys to go out there and do my job. And, um, yeah, I mean, you know, we're in the middle of the season. This is real football now. So, you know, hopefully the type of team that we are um, will start the show. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just the Patriots. They just had a, a great game plan, a great scheme going into, uh, you know, this Sunday. Vaughn, uh, Joe was just saying that DeMarcus Walker has kind of had to adjust to what the NFL has been like. How have you tried to help him get used to it this season so that he can find his way up the uh, just by Just by leading by example. Um, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's a, it's a tough, you know, it's, it's a tough area, you know, because you don't want to, you know, be, you know, too, you know, you don't want to be too hard, you know, on guys, and you don't want to be too soft, you know, on guys either. So I just uh, try to blend some of the coaching that I've had, you know, throughout my time here in the National Football League with DeMarcus. It's kind of a mixture between, um, you know, all the coaches that I had. You want to be, you want to motivate, but you don't want to be negative at the same time. You know, we're all brothers, and we all want to see each other do well, you know, but, you know, at the same time, you have to motivate, but you got to watch how you do it. Talking about leadership, you were also nominated this week to be the Broncos Sportsmanship Award nominee. What does that mean to you as leadership, kind of playing into that for you? Oh, it's great. I mean, uh, I mean, it's it's it's, it's dope. I mean, I did I didn't go out. I mean, I don't go out every day, you know, thinking, you know, how do I, you know, win the Art Art Rooney Award? I didn't even know, you know, anything about that. So, you know, just to live my life and, you know. You know, stay on the path that I'm on and do the things that I do naturally, and then you get that. It's you know, it's it's dope. It's a dope feeling. You kind of talk about though how you like to take care of your opponents, like your teammates. Is that nice to kind of see that recognized widely? Oh yeah, it's dope. I mean, like I said, I didn't even know anything about you know an award for you know any stuff. I was just doing that stuff. From, I was just doing that from the heart. You know, I was just doing that because I felt like that's what the game needed. 
And um, so, you know, to get recognized for it, it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. You know, I wasn't going out, you know, looking for, you know, any type of recognition. So, you know, to get it is dope. No, you don't play on the D line, but what does Petco bring? You know, it is more on behind the scenes that we don't see. What's it been like to have him as a teammate? Oh, it's, it's been great, man. I, he's probably, he's probably, he's probably the most positive teammate that I've ever been around. You know, no matter what, you know, he's always, you know, how's it going, Oos? Good morning, Oos. You know, we're going to get this one today. You know, you look at him, you're like, man, are you, are you 20, are you 24 or 20, 23 years old? And, you, and then he's one of the oldest guys, you know, in the locker room, and he still has that energy about him on the practice field, off the practice field, football field, hot, cold, raining, loss, win. He's the same guy. You know, he's, uh, I mean, he's, he's great. He's, he's definitely been a, a shining star in the locker room for us. Has there been talk in meetings or anything? The pass rush hasn't quite been there that you guys are used to, that we're used to seeing from you guys. Hadn't been there the last couple games. Well, I just, I just gotta, I just gotta get it going. I just gotta get it going and, and make some plays uh, for my guys. You know, like I said before, you know, it's, it's not uh, the type of season that I that I wanted to have. You know, but um, you know, I still got a lot of time. I still got a. Um, a lot of ways to you know help uh, you know my teammates. So yeah, I got another great opportunity to go out there and create some pass rush for my guys. Okay, thank you, Vaughn. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.